we go. Two boys. Mrs. Kendall, on November 16, 1978, you came to the police department and viewed a number of photographs. Is that correct? That is correct. From those photographs, you selected two as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? That is correct. Now, was it the 15th of January that you, again, looked at some photographs? It would have been a week or 10 days before the lineup. You have identified States Exhibit A as an accurate photograph depicting the lineup as you observed it. Is that correct? That is correct. And that includes a piece of paper attached to the wall behind the persons who were the subjects of the lineup, yes. That bears a date, 125.79, yes. I take it that was the date of the lineup, yes. Okay, and it was about 10 days before that that you viewed these photographs, is that correct? As I recall, that is correct. Or about two months after the robbery, Yes, and you were shown how many photographs when on this occasion in January? About four or five as I recall. Do you recall how many of those photographs had been viewed by you? How many had I seen previously? Yes, I probably saw all of them before. Did you tell Lieutenant Nash that you had seen all of them before? I believe so, yes. And then Lieutenant Nash asked if there was maybe one that might strike your attention or something? Yes. Were those the words? Yes. And then you picked out one photograph that was what? that I thought most resembled the person. Had you seen that one before? I don't recall. <clears throat> Let's try that one again. But a little faster. <clears throat> All right, let's try that one again. Mrs. Kendall, on November 16, 1978, you came to the police department and viewed a number of photographs. Is that correct? That is correct. From those photographs, you selected two as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? That is correct. Now, was it the 15th of January that you again looked at some photographs? It would have been a week or 10 days before the lineup. You have identified States Exhibit A as an accurate photograph depicting the lineup as you observed it. Is that correct? That is correct. And that includes a piece of paper attached to the wall behind the persons who were subjects of the lineup. Yes, that bears a date, 125.79. Yes, I take it that was the date of the lineup. Yes, okay. And it was about 10 days before that that you viewed these photographs. Is that correct? As I recall, that is correct. Or about two months after the robbery? Yes, and you were shown how many photographs when, on this occasion in January, about four or five as I recall. Do you recall how many of those photographs had been viewed by you previously? How many had I seen previously? Yes, I probably saw all of them before. Did you tell Lieutenant Nash that you had seen all of them before? 
I believe so, yes. And then Lieutenant Nash asked if there was maybe one that might strike your attention or something. Yes. Were those the words? Yes. And then you picked out one photograph that was what? That I thought most resembled the person. Had you seen that one before? I don't recall. Okay, one more time on this one. <clears throat> Mrs. Kendall, on November 16, 1978, you came to the police department and viewed a number of photographs. Is that correct? That is correct. From those photographs, you selected two as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? That is correct. Now, was it the 15th of January that you again looked at some photographs? It would have been a week or 10 days before the lineup. You have identified States Exhibit A as an accurate photograph depicting the lineup as you observed it. Is that correct? That is correct. And that includes a piece of paper attached to the wall behind the persons who were subjects of the lineup? Yes. That bears a date 1-25-79? Yes. I take it that was the date of the lineup? Yes. Okay. And it was about 10 days before that that you viewed these photographs. Is that correct? As I recall, that is correct. Or about two months after the robbery? Yes. And you were shown how many photographs when? On this occasion in January, about four or five as I recall. Do you recall how many of those photographs had been viewed by you previously? How many had I seen previously? Yes, I probably saw all of them before. Did you tell Lieutenant Nash that you had seen all of them before? I believe so, yes. And then Lieutenant Nash asked if there was maybe one that might strike your attention or something. Yes, were those the words? Yes. And then. You picked out one photograph that was what? That I thought most resembled the person. Had you seen that one before? I don't recall. Okay, let's try a different one. <clears throat> and then he took another photograph from some place, yes. Is that right? Yes. Just one? Just one. He just took out one photograph and showed it to you? Yes. This was after he had shown you the others. Is that right? As I recall. And that was a photograph of this defendant. Is that right? Yes. And then you said you thought you could be sure if you had an opportunity to observe him. Is that right? Yes. And then a week or 10 days later, Lieutenant Nash called you and told you that he wanted you to look at a lineup which would include the person whose photograph he showed you. Is that right? He asked me to come down and observe the lineup. Isn't it true that he told you? As I recall, he wanted me to see if I could pick out anybody. Isn't it true that he told you that the person whose photograph you had picked out had been apprehended and would be in that lineup? I don't really know. Do you deny that? I am not denying it. I just don't recall. Did you view any lineups other than this one? No. In other words, you were given an opportunity to select from only six people on that day? Yes. One week after the robbery, you picked out two photographs as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? 
That's correct. Let's try that one again. And then he took another photograph from some place. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Just one? Just one. He just took out one photograph and showed it to you? Yes. This was after he had shown you the others. Is that right? As I recall. And that was a photograph of this defendant. Is that right? Yes. And then you said you thought you could be sure if you had an opportunity to observe him. Is that right? Yes. And then a week or 10 days later, Lieutenant Nash called you and told you that he wanted you to look at a lineup which would include the person whose photograph he showed you. Is that right? He asked me to come down and observe the lineup. Isn't it true that he told you, as I recall it, he wanted me to see if I could pick out anybody? Isn't it true that he told you that the person whose photograph you had picked out had been apprehended and would be in that lineup? I really don't recall. Do you deny that? I am not denying it. I just don't recall. Did you view any lineups other than this one? No. In other words, you were given an opportunity to select from only six people on that day? Yes. One week after the robbery, you picked out two photographs as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? That's correct. Let's try that one one more time. A little bit faster. <clears throat> And then he took another photograph from some place. Yes, is that right? Yes. Just one? Just one. He just took out one photograph and showed it to you? Yes. This was after he had shown you the others. Is that right? As I recall. And that was a photograph of this defendant. Is that right? Yes. And then you said you thought you could be sure if you had an opportunity to observe him. Is that right? Yes. And then a week or 10 days later, Lieutenant Nash called you and told you that he wanted you to look at a lineup which would include the person whose photograph he showed you. Is that right? He asked me to come down and observe the lineup. Isn't it true that he told you, as I recall it, he wanted me to see if I could pick out anybody? Isn't it true that he told you that the person whose photograph you had picked out had been apprehended and would be in that lineup? I really don't recall. Do you deny that? I am not denying it. I just don't recall. Did you view any other lineups other than this one? No. In other words, you were given an opportunity to select from only six people on that day? Yes. One week after the robbery, you picked out two photographs as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Let's try a different one. Uh, space up. Let's read one back. Okay, so let's read this back. All right? This is for readback. <clears throat> Mrs. Kendall, on November 
15, 1978, you came to the police department and viewed a number of photographs. Is that correct? That is correct. From those photographs, you selected two as resembling the person who robbed you. Is that correct? That is correct. Now, was it the 15th of January that you, again, looked at some photographs? It would have been a week or 10 days before the lineup. You have identified States Exhibit A as an accurate photograph depicting the lineup as you observed it. Is that correct? That is correct. And that includes a piece of paper attached to the wall behind the persons who were subjects of the lineup. Yes, that bears a date, 1-25-79. Yes, I take it that was the date of the lineup. Yes, okay, and it was about 10 days before that, that you viewed these photographs, is that correct? As I recall, that is correct. Or about two months after the robbery? Yes, and you were shown how many photographs when on this occasion in January? About four or five, as I recall. Do you recall how many of those photographs had been viewed by you previously? How many had I seen previously? Yes, I probably saw all of them before. Did you tell Lieutenant Nash that you had seen all of them before? I believe so, yes. And then Lieutenant Nash asked if there was maybe one that might strike your attention or something. Yes. Were those the words? Yes. And then you picked out one photograph that was what? That I thought most resembled the person. Had you seen that one before? I don't recall. Did you discuss with them the fact that you had been called down to view a lineup? Not that I recall. Did you ask them if they had been called down to view a lineup? I am sure we probably mentioned it, but I don't really recall. Do you recall telling either of the boys that you had identified someone? Yes, I probably did. Could you tell us what kind of pants the robber was wearing? No, I cannot. Mrs. Kendall, I am still not clear about the type of jacket you are talking about. Are you talking about the type that is worn by subject number two in the lineup? No, that is just a shirt. I am talking about a bulky type plaid shirt. My sons have jackets like this. It is a type that young people are wearing now. I think it is called a shirt jacket. Did you approximate an age when you talked to the police? I beg your pardon. Did you tell the police about an approximate age? I thought I did. Do you remember what you said? If I remember correctly, I said it was in the 20s. From the time you left the store after the robbery 
until you came to the police department on November 16, did you have any contact with the police? No. Beg pardon? No. Other than the phone call requesting you to come down? That is correct. No one ever came and took a statement from you? No. When you viewed the lineup, were other persons present? There were other persons viewing the same lineup. I wasn't there alone. Did you and those persons talk? We were told not to discuss the lineup. Did you all view the same lineup? Yes. At the same time? Yes, but in different little cubicles. Where did you meet these people? In the courthouse, in the robbery division of the police department? I think that is correct. And then you were taken together into an elevator and upstairs to a room where you viewed the lineup? Yes. Let's try that one again. Did you discuss with them the fact that you had been called down to view a lineup? Not that I recall. Did you ask them if they had been called down to view a lineup? I am sure we probably mentioned it, but I don't really recall. Do you recall telling either of the boys that you had identified someone? Yes, I probably did. Could you tell us what kind of pants the robber was wearing? No, I cannot. Mrs. Kendall, I am still not clear about the type of jacket you are talking about. Are you talking about the type that is worn by subject number two in the lineup? No, that is just a shirt. I am talking about a bulky type plaid jacket. My sons have jackets like this. It is a type that young people are wearing now. I think it is called a shirt jacket. Did you approximate an age when you talked to the police? I beg your pardon? Did you tell the police about an approximate age? I thought I did. Okay, one last time on this one. A little bit faster. Did you discuss with them the fact that you had been called down to view a lineup? Not that I recall. Did you ask them if they had been called down to view a lineup? I am sure we probably mentioned it, but I don't really recall. Do you recall telling either of the boys that you had identified someone? Yes, I probably did. Could you tell us what kind of pants the robber was wearing? No, I cannot. Mrs. Kendall, I am still not clear about the type of jacket you are talking about. Are you talking about the type that is worn by subject number two in the lineup? No, that is just a shirt. I am talking about a bulky type plaid jacket. My sons have jackets like this. It is a type that young people are wearing now. I think it is called a shirt jacket. Did you approximate an age when you talked to the police? I beg your pardon? Did you tell the police about an approximate age? I thought I did. Do you remember what you said? If I remember correctly, I said it was in the 20s. From the time you left the store after the robbery until you came to the police department on November 16, 
Did you have any contact with the police? No. Beg pardon? No. Other than the phone call requesting you to come down? That is correct. No one ever came and took a statement from you? No. When you viewed the lineup, were other persons present? There were other persons viewing the same lineup. I wasn't there alone. Did you and those persons talk? We were told not to discuss the lineup. Did you all view the same lineup? Yes. At the same time? Yes, but in different little cubicles. Where did you meet these people? In the courthouse. In the robbery division of the police department? I think that is correct. And then you were taken together into an elevator and upstairs to a room where you viewed the lineup. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, the amendment offered by the gentleman from New York would totally gut the bill. It loses sight of the fact that the reason for the legislation is to recognize the hazardous nature of the occupations in which Police officers and firefighters are involved. They are just as dead whether their death results as the proximate cause of a criminal act or whether they are engaged in some other official duty not directly related to the commission of a crime. The only instances under the substitute that is offered by the gentleman from New York where a firefighter's family would be compensated would be those isolated instances where the firefighter dies as the result of arson or of sniper attack and those instances are very minimal it does not cover for example instances where a police officer dies in an unforeseen explosion after being called to dismantle an old torpedo that was found on a beach his widow would not be compensated under the substitute because there is no criminal act involved. As the gentleman from California very aptly pointed out, unless there was a defendant involved in the case and he were convicted, there would not have been a criminal act and the dead officer's widow would not be compensated. Similarly, if an individual dies from a gunshot wound from a sniper and his assailant is never apprehended, never found and tried, there would be no proof of a criminal act which could be pointed to as the proximate cause of his death. Some argue very easily that obligations to the families of deceased police officers and firefighters are local responsibilities and should not be passed along to the federal government. I firmly believe, however, that it is indeed a federal responsibility to provide for the families of those officers who die to make our streets safer. What's the brief for proximate cause? 
Uh-huh. What about federal? Uh-huh. Okay, police officer, you have that? 